Greetings. Oh my gosh, my voice. <coughs> Pardon. Greetings and salutations, my viewers, and welcome back to To the Kingdom. Now, before I get started, I would like to say something. Me and two very good friends of mine have a podcast. That's right, you heard it here first a podcast. It's on Spotify only, and the name of this podcast is Nerds Off the Script. That's N E R D S space O F F space T H E space S C R I P T. Nerds Off the Script. Now, anyways, more. Uh, we basically um, just talk about whatever. Right now, we are talking about stuff like superheroes and the DC Universe. So please, give us a listen, like, share, <sighs> put it in your Spotify library, so it's available only on Spotify. Anyways, on with the game. Bright Bloom Seed has one fuse attack power, a seed that is often found in caves or wells. When struck, it will take root and bloom, giving off a faint light from a small flower. Ooh, I want to see that. <laughs> Wow, that's cool. Got the quick one on me, didn't they? Keith's eyeball. These mysterious orbs scan their surroundings, take advantage of their glaring awareness, and attach one of them to an arrow to grant a homing quality. Ooh. Homing quality, you say. An aerodynamic material dropped by a defeated keys. Arrows and thrown weapons fly further with this attached item. So I can build a tactical nuclear missile with those keys eyeballs. That's what I got out of that. Flint. Strike it with a metallic weapon to generate a spark. This fire starter breaks after one use, but it can create a long lasting flame if you strike in your firewood. Sweet. Huh? Hmm. What are you? I don't know what you are, but I'm gonna kill you! Aw, what's these? A boobly, a boobly gem. Bubble gem. A strange crystal left behind by the by defeated bubble frog, bub, bubble frogs in caves. Its eerie blue go glow may entice you to collect even more. <gasps> Wait, did I kill it? Aw, oh, man, now I feel really bad about killing it. Aw, oh, shoot. I hope it didn't actually die into what the other booblies do and just go back to, you know, the other the place that they go to. Aw, oh, pity. Bro. Ruby. This precious red ore mined from large ore deposits. Rubies contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. Cool, dude. Oh, let's break some of these up before deposits, now shall we? Uh, get all that ore. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't work. There it goes. Uh, anything else in here? Okay, we got some bright bloom seeds. Oh my gosh, that scared me so much. I heard someone, oh my gosh, it sounded like someone was saying something. I was like, huh, what's that? And all of a sudden I hear the flattering of a key swing. I'm like, oh my gosh. What do you do? Giant bright bloom seed, okay, it does the exact same thing. It's just bigger. I swear though, I heard someone talking when that keys came out of nowhere else. That was freaky. That was a waste of an arrow. Nah. Well. Nah. Chest. What's
what's in here? Is it a shirt? Clothes? Hey! Arcanic tunic. One defense. An old fashioned upper body wear. It's got some good hole it's got some holes, but the soft material feels good to the touch. It's hard to keep it. it's hard to keep it wrinkle free. I now have a shirt. Yay. And we're outside. Now I still have to go talk to some animatronics. I'll come back to you, this ghosty guy over here. Araru. Mm. The Stuart constructs were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. The culinary constructors, maker constructors, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Cool. Some become so skilled with their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Mm. You should take time to talk to them. They can teach you many things you might not yet know. Cool. Do that! Speak! The rafts are damaged. We are unsure how to proceed. We will reconsider the problem at dawn after resting. <laughs> you there! What must you say? The rafts are broken. We are exhausted from trying to fix them. Currently, we are resting from this task. At least the Zonai device is undamaged. The Zonai device? Yes. Are, they are special tools that we employ. They are necessities here. I recommend that you learn how to use them. Ask, con ask the construct in front of the fan for details. I will return to my rest. The rafts for crossing the other side are broken. Transportation is on hold indefinitely. This, o this is ordinarily where we send resources across the river. The only silver lining is that the Zonai devices are undamaged. Zonai devices, you say? Ah, it seems you do not know of Zonai devices. They are necessities around here. Allow me to explain. Yay. This green thing is called a Zonai device. The, the one you see here is a fan. You can produce wind by on demand by striking it. They're, they are self-evidently useful. They, we, oh my gosh, my English. We have a variety of Zonai devices for multitude, for multitudinous, multitudinous purposes. Using Zonai devices does require energy. Using an external energy cell will be necessary in your case. Ah, you have one already. That is a relief. But perhaps a refresher explanation is in order. Oh my gosh. An energy cell stores, stores energy required to use a Zonai device. Its energy will replenish automatically when Zonai devices are not in use. Its capacity is not unlimited. Use the energy contained within wisely, otherwise you may run out, run out at inopportune moments. Pardon the long explanation, it does not change our need for a raft. Zonai devices are extremely useful. Think creatively and you may find ways to employ them. Alright, sweet. Can I attach a tree? I can attach a tree! Oh my gosh. So from what I got from that is that you guys need some help. I got you. What? Ah, we may have, we may have need for those parts. There are more materials in the water for you to use. Thank you. It is very difficult to rest peacefully when things like this happen. My bad, dude. My bad. I see nothing in the water. Ooh, fish. Let's grab that guy. Alright, cool. 
I see nothing in the water. Alright, cool. That's one. Can I reach that? No. Oof, pity. Wrong button. Can I attach that to my weapon? Hold on a second. No, oh, how unfortunate. Wrong one. Let's get across the river. Alright. Oh, no oh, sticker doodles, it's floating away. Alright, I'm gonna attach the fans to it. And then, I'll do the thing. Uh, I'll get one on the front in case I need to uh, go the other way. Alright, cool. Oh my gosh, I fell in. I meant for that to happen. Oh. It, uh... It does both of them. Okay. In that case, you go back to shore. And you! I hold chariots. Ba bra bra ba 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 ba. Dun 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 dun. I'm going straight into a wall. Ba 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 bra ba ba bra ba 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 ba. Thank you. You've been very useful. Let's try you up there. Ah, you know you'll be fine right there. All right, I have a long climb ahead of me. Hey, another one of those zone I constructs. First off, I'm gonna pick all these bulbs. All the bulbs. Not to mention the mushroom. All right, all right, all right, what you got for me? Oh, are you going this direction? It is very late to be traveling. You don't say. This mountain path is especially rugged. You must take your environment into account when traveling. I developed guidelines for traveling this mountain path. Shall I tell you them? Yeah, sure. I'll take all the help I can get. Very well. Fire is a crucial tool when traveling a mountain path. A fire could be used either to cook or to warm yourself. How do I start a fire? I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Yes? YouTube video? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'll be done in just a little bit. Okay, I'm ready. We'll pull that mower up. Gotcha. I recommend using flint as a fire starter. Place flint next to the bundle of wood. Then, strike it with a metallic or stony weapon. This, ma this is my recipe for fire. There are several other methods, but it is best to internalize the basics first. Would you like to hear about cooking? Teach me to cook! Oh, it's a ranger construct. That makes sense how it knows all this stuff. You can cook anytime and anywhere. All you need is a pot with a lit fire. One method of cooking is simply to throw random ingredients into the pot. Others are more careful. This is the best way to make meals that can warm you up. Other effects are also possible. Inst insects and monster parts are not edible. Do not cook horns with food. Save those parts and as materials for elixirs. Elixirs are also helpful in the mountains. They are an alternative way to warm your body and recover stamina. The first step in all cases is to start a fire. 
then that is all I can tell you. Take care. Alright, thanks. For context, if you could hear what my dad was saying, he was asking me if I was ready to go and, um, weld. I'm going to finish this. I have absolutely no idea where it is I'm going. All I know is that I'm going. Do I have the materials to make? Oh, I do have the materials to make. Let's take that. Let's place that down. Cool. Okay, so. If only fires were that easy in real life. Uh, let's grab... Let's grab... Let's grab, let's see... Let's see... Three apples... No, 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 Not three apples, not three apples. Two apples. Two sky shrooms. And... Fish. Fish and mushroom skewer, five hearts. A simple dish made by cooking skewered mushroom with fish alongside the fragrant mushrooms. Okay, sweet. So let's grab us some mitza mitza. I'm not gonna need that much meat. Can I decrease that? I can. And a nut. Why not? Ooh, those are the good noises. <laughs> Meat skewer! Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, nine hearts. A juicy filling snack made by grilling small chunks of meat on a skewer. Wait, I have a question. <gasps> Hold on. Can I wait? Oh wait, never mind. I misread. So anyway, I can see the <gasps> select recipe. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. Uh, what was I gonna do? Yeah. Uh, let's get some stealth effect stuff. Do I mean like Pokemon stuff? No, I don't. Oh, pity. Does this count as a monster part? Hold on a second. Does this count as a monster part? No, it does not. Oh, dubious food, one heart, it's censored, wow, too gr it's too gross to even look at, a bizarre smell issues from forth from this heap, eating it won't hurt you though, probably, anyway, let's redeem myself, let's get some semilla shrooms, and a uh, normal mushroom, <laughs> That nice stamina boosting stuff. Let's get some mushrooms and a uh, apple and another mushroom. Sweet. Okay. Um. If you can't tell, if you can't tell, I like to put apples on everything. Nice. Uh, let's grab all three of you guys. Two shrooms. Just making them sweet, sweet effect boosting stuff. What do you do? Ah, cook it to restore. Stanima, you say? Don't mind if I do. That's all of Stanima. Uh, let's grab. You do I have any stamina shrooms left? No, I do not. Pity. Let's grab you and, uh. Shuffle on out of here. Let's 
Sweet. All right. Let's grab a whole bunch of rush rooms and a single fish. I'm making all the food today. Let's grab even more rush rooms and a singular mushroom. And a fish, you know what, why not? And a fish. Oof. Actually, no, no, scratch the fish. <laughs> Sweet, now then, to top it all off, let's grab two of you guys, one, one, one. <laughs> Sweet, anyways. Let's break these pots. Oh crap, that arrow. No, don't burn. Okay, I got it. I saved it. I saved it. Now then. Up the mountain path I go. Hmm, that's land. Anyways, hmm, that's a waterfall. That just stops rendering right there. It's over here. That's breakable. Ah! Whoa. Was I supposed to come down here? Oh wow. Well. Yeah. yeah, you found me. Huh? You're not Hestu, but you can see me? I don't know. I didn't know someone like you could see the children of the forest. Well, if you see Hestu, please return this to him. Groxy, yay, another one. Oh, and my friends are hiding in all sorts of different places too. You should keep an eye out if while you wander. I'm the kind of guy who likes to roam around. A zone I charge. Sweet. You can recover a small amount of an energy cell. Yay! Another one. Small critters underneath these here rocks. No, okay. Uh, let's fuse something to this. Fuse the mushroom. Yes, okay. Uh, rock. <laughs> Anyhow, let's uh, climb on out of here, shall we? I like how I have literally no idea what's at the top of this path. I'm just going. <laughs> Water. Question. Frog. Frog. Oh darn it. Uh, no, nothing in the water. Yeah, it's the only path. Oh wow, tree branch. Yay. There'll be some more choo choos up here. Ooh, there's a dude. Oh my gosh, that's so many dudes. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Where did you come from? No, I got my long walk. Oh, that's mine. Swing at me. He won't. Okay, never mind. He did. Swing at me again. Again. Hey, I killed him. That better be worth my while. What's this? A construct bow. Ooh, it's better than why I've equipped it. Which isn't really that hard to beat. What are you? A long club. All right, I'll take it. Uh, is there anything worse than a rusty broadsword? No, not really. Other than the decayed master sword. <laughs> Nice arrows. What you got for me? All right, opal. Not that bad. Not bad. Oh wow, it's a one and done. All the arrows. Wait, I have new weapon in the vat. No, I don't. Log club. Yeah, it's a club with a log on it. Yeah. Is that everything? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. I've been working on the railroad. That's the vibe I'm getting from this. to do. Let me up, let me up. Oh, thank goodness. Discovery. Mining cave. Uh, I don't like how I can't see anything in said cave. Oh my gosh. Wait, never mind. It's just a construct. Greetings and salutations. This cave is especially dark. We will need a light in order to proceed the mining shaft. Do you have any bright bloom seeds? Bright bloom seeds, you say? Ah, you do not know of them, actually, I do. The glowing flowers are bright blooms. They shine very brightly. Many use them as illumination in dark places. These bright blooms grow natively in caves, such as this one. This cave has been picked mostly clean of them that have... That is because it is especially dark, the seeds more often necessary. I am positioned here to provide a reminder to bring bright bloom seeds. By the way, did you know that bright bloom seeds require a stimulus to blossom? Yes, I know. Striking a bright bloom seed or attaching it to an arrow will cause it to activate on impact. The bright bloom you, you see growing there is no different. I caused it to, to, to blossom. Oh my gosh, my English, I can't speak. It will be, it will generally be in your best interest to use bright bloom seeds in dark places such as this. Thanks, dude. Dang, I wasn't kidding. Can I bring my minecart across? I think I can. Hold on. Let me go grab my cart. <laughs> Hi, right, boy. Come here. Oh, man, I 
can't. What a crying shame. Oh well. Uh, I have several, thank you. <sighs> oh, that was just a regular arrow. What in Sam Hill is this? Let's find out. Uh, Zonite? Huh? An unusual material mineral that has many purposes. Ancient. An ancients extracted. Wait. Ancients? What that says? Yeah, ancients extracted energy from it and, refi and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. <laughs> Cool. Who knows how that might come in handy someday in the near the distant future. Let's pop her right. I can see all the way down there. There. Sweet. Uh. So nice. Cool. Crafts armor and weapons. It might be useful in getting new armor and weapons. Okay, anyway. Right, the uh, extensive mining project you got going on down here. What's that say? Nah, I don't care. Anything behind it? No, really? Okay. Uh. I have absolutely no reason to be collecting this stuff, but yeah, I collect it anyways. Nice to like dates. Hey, free zone of night. Excuse me. That zonite is already slated for processing. It will pose difficulties for me if you took it for yourself. Zonite? Oh, you are unfamiliar with it. The zonite I mentioned is a unique material that can be mineral that can be mined far beneath the land below. There are trace there are trace deposits of it on this island as well, but they are limited to this cave. Pity. Our society pro flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Processing, you say? Zonite is processed by smelting it in a furnace. It is thereby converted to materials with useful purposes. Properties. Uh, a few such materials will be ready for your review shortly. Wait one moment. Ooh, yay. What do I get? What do I get? A sh shovel? Thank you for your patience. I will now explain what sort of materials the ore can be processed into. Oh, no. All right. Zonite technology is... Typically powered by zonite charges. These occasionally solidify into a form known as crystallized charges. Converting zonite into other useful materials called processing. Okay, zonite charges. Explain. Zonite charges are what power zonite devices and constructs. A charge can be consumed to replenish your energy cell. Do you need anything else? Yeah, crystalline charges. Crystallized charges are a solidified form of zonite charges. We mainly use them as raw material in the construct of energy cells. Ooh, please visit anytime you require processing materials. And jump in the lava. Please, let me, let me. Unbearable heat. How much heat are we talking about? Not enough to catch me on fire, of course. Oh my gosh, it was enough to catch me on fire. <laughs> it's just, uh...
interesting concept. Yeah, I'll help you out, buddy. I'll help you out. This cave previously had ample resources. It is gradually yielding less and less. That is why I require support, but my requests have so far gone unanswered. I must, therefore, continue the mine without resting. Oh, uh, sweet. Yeah, buddy, I'll help you out real quick. Thanks for the zonite. zonite. I have so much of this stuff. Greetings and salutations, strange but Ooh, what's this? Ah! I have not given permission to take those. Could it be that you have forgotten to bring Zonite capsules? Zonite capsules, you say? You have forgotten yours, or perhaps you may not even know what I mean. Zonite capsules are a convenient means of carrying portable Zonite devices. Ooh! It is unfortunate that you seem to have none. I will lend you a few spares. Fan times three. A Zonite device that produces wind with its eternal propeller. It's likely that Zonite made, made smart use of the wind power to transport objects and to generate thrust. I get, the ones I gave you were fan types. You can deploy them at any time. They will generate wind when struck. Zonite devices are useful and come in many varieties. I will carry several with me for any occasion. Many neglects to keep a healthy supply at hand. I keep watch for such individuals. Thanks, dude. I spent these spares I gave you were the last I carried. Take care not to forget again. Remember that the device cannot be put back in its capsule. Think carefully before deploying one from your pouch. Thanks, dude. Much appreciate. Ah, uh, bro. Welcome. Sweet. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's so much. First off, first off. I'll take these guys. Five here, I guess. Ten pieces. You're welcome. The resulting material will be available once your process is complete. I'm gonna take all of these because I have absolutely no idea what they're used for. I have no idea what those are used for. My boy. Are you just gonna sit there in your shell? I hope that support will someday arrive. Yeah, so do I, buddy, for your sake. You know, I'm not gonna waste the charge. I'm gonna go all the way back up the mine and grab uh, the cards I put down. Yawn. Jesus brings back memories. I guess making a flying machine will be easier than using Magnesis and two mining carts. <laughs> ah, those were the days. Ah, those were the days. I'll catch you cats and dogs later. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to do that. It's easier, wouldn't want to be easier. I hope the rail doesn't break. 
I traveled that far? Jeez. Ow. Hello. The time bell that sounds from the temple of time. Uh, yeah, at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the constructs, we work to the sound of the bell. When we hear it in the evening, we know it is time for rest. Mm. It also played part in our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. The sight of that temple and the sound of its bell stir memories in me. Cool dude. Catch you later, Tata. Let's break some boxes. <laughs> Arrows, arrows, yeah. I cannot get enough of these arrows, man. I tell you what. What on earth? Oh my gosh, it's this idiot. Ah, uh, where is he? Should be uh, sending up a smoke signal of uh, some kind. Oh, he's around here somewhere. Hello. What's that? Something tells me I don't want to find out. I'm gonna help with that little cork first. I'm just looking around. Okay, real quick though. Let me go check out what this daddy is. Device dispenser operational con operation confirmed. On track to meet today's Zonai capsule production target. Oh, did you want to use the, dis the device dispenser? I have nearly met my target. You are welcome to use it. Device dispenser? Yes, this is a device dispenser. It produces Zonai capsules by converting certain resources. The resource it accepts are things such as construct wards and Zonai constructs. I mean, charges. You can process resources that you... That you Wait, that you hold by dropping them into the re re recipital. It is similar to use. It's similar to using a cooking pot. So I explain capsules. Yeah, sure. Why not? So when I capsules are portable Zonai devices in convenient pocket form. A device cannot be put back inside the capsule after you have removed it. They are intended to be disposable. They are also plentiful. You can extract many Zonai capsules from a single device dispenser. There is no harm in converting your spare resources into Zonai capsules. It ensures you will always have a few. I will continue my maintenance checks. This dispenser is available for use. Coolio. Let's see what I get. Five horns. <laughs> Flame emitter. A Zonai device that shoots fire. That's awesome. It's thought to have been originally used for, protect for as protection from monsters. Oh, not dip. Portable pot. A Zonai device for cooking food. Almost anytime, anywhere. It lasts for cooking one recipe only. The device is easier to use on flat surfaces. Cool. My bitcoins give me anything. Watch this give me like a hundred different items. Oh my gosh, it's so much. It's an unreasonable amount. I want more. Yes, yes, more my boy, more. What if I put Zonite in it? Yeah, hold up. What'll happen if I put zonite in it? Can I put zonite in it? Oh, I can. What is it? 
give me? I must know. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. So that implies that I can put anything in here. I can put anything in here. No, my firefly! Then it just spits it back out, except for my darn firefly. Okay, that's cool. Anyways. Alright, little Korok, I'm gonna get you to your friend and I'm gonna end the episode. That is, of course, if I can find a hook. Oh, wait, never mind, it's a minecart thing. Uh. Hi, boy. Come here. Ah, you scared me. You're moving me? Then you must be able to see me. Be gentle, okay? I'm in a real pickle. I was traveling with someone and got separated. I thought he was over there. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired, though. I can't move. Oh, pity, pity. I'm gonna drop you off the cliff. Will let me drop him off the cliff. I don't want to find out. I, I don't want to. Let's go. All right, boy. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Sweet. Bye. Chess. So right. Okay, that's all for me, y'all. On that lovely note, I'm gonna skadoodle on out of here. I'll catch you guys on the flippity flop in the next video. Bye bye.